Squad, watch out. He's going through the barrier. Watch He's out. going through. It's a large crowd. Police release dash camera and body camera video of the chase and shootout that ended in a crowded area along Juno Avenue near Edison. 12 News' Kent Wayne Scott is there live tonight. Kent, the man police killed was wanted in the murder of his ex-girlfriend. Yeah, Patrick, police say they knew that the man they were chasing that night was considered extremely dangerous, and this new video, uh, edited video from the police department that they released today shows that they pursued him all across the city that night before that deadly confrontation right here in the middle of this downtown street with crowds of people all around. And again, I want to caution you about the video that you're about to see. It began when police spotted a stolen vehicle connected to Ernest Blackney. He was wanted in the murder of his ex-girlfriend and setting their home on fire days earlier. From the south side to the north side at up to 100 miles an hour, multiple times police deployed stop sticks. But the chase continued onto the freeway and into downtown through security barricades around the entertainment district. That's when Blackney stops, gets out, and begins shooting at officers who return fire, killing Blackney. Police say Blackney fired 18 times. Police fired 76 shots. A total of 94 gunshots in just over 30 seconds. A 22-year-old woman bystander was shot in the arm and injured. No one else was hurt. On Monday, 12 News asked Milwaukee's police chief about the decision to keep up the pursuit in that crowded entertainment district. We have to make sure that we're doing the right decision for the right reasons. And as you can see in this particular situation, who we're chasing and, and the reason for and, and, and what happened to have us engage in that, um, yeah, it was a tough one that night. Well, Kent, does the release of the video mean this is the end of the investigation? Uh, no, not at all. In fact, the investigation of the shooting, including who fired the shot that struck that bystander, that's still ongoing. The investigation being handled by a third-party agency. In this, in this case, it's the Oak Creek Police Department leading the investigation. Ken Wayscott reporting live in downtown Milwaukee tonight.